There are a few major concepts that are really important. And these were released mostly through St. Germain and Guy Ballard. I call them the big three. And those big three are uh, released to Guy Ballard from St. Germain. So his release through Guy Ballard was the most important release of the century, in spite of the fact that Blavatsky had probably released a lot more information. But because a lot of that information is highly interesting and, and very arcane, it isn't really necessary. Ultimately, the only three things you need are in the I Am books. And those three things are, first of all, the consciousness of our, our real self, which they call the I Am Presence. The I Am Presence. So the I Am Presence is a, this is a picture or what we call a chart of the presence. And the I Am Presence here is depicted as a star tetrahedron in, in the center. And because that's the form of our light body. And this circle of colors we call the causal body. Now the causal body is every correct qualification of energy through all of your lifetimes. Then we have what we call the electronic body, which is in the lower self, which is every misqualification of energy in the last 10,000 or 100,000 embodiments. Okay? So nothing that's impure can be in this causal body. This is sometimes called your treasure stored up in heaven. You know, we call it our cosmic bank account. This is every talent we have. This is everything that we have to complete our divine plan. It's our political capital to complete our divine plan. So what we have here is a sevenfold self. The highest part of us being the I am presence is the, the God self. And people talk about God as if he were a he or a she or something. God isn't a being, first of all. God is not sitting up there watching us do this. God, because the God of gods is an all-encompassing thing. It's hard to talk about it because we have to use a pronoun. We have to say he, she, it. It doesn't really matter. It's none of those things. It's everything. So we have an individualized part, which is our I am presence, and that is an individualized part of God, so this is the part of God that belongs to us. But this part doesn't look down. It doesn't know what's going on down here in these four lower bodies. So and there's an old saying in hermetic law or hermetic teaching, as above, so below. As above, so below. As above, so below. Well, because of karma, the so below is not really the as above anymore. Started out that way, but the so below is tainted by, by karma, and there's a layer of karma that keeps the so below from being conscious of the as above. And the I am presence will not look down into this karma because if it did, it would no longer be God and the karma would be permanent. So ultimately, we have the spiritual triad and the four lower bodies, or the lower quaternary. This is, technically speaking, this is the part of us that's in matter, and this is the part of us that's in spirit. So we have the I am presence, and then we have the, that's the seventh principle, then we have the fifth and sixth principle, which are the Christ, Christ self and the buddhic self. The buddhic self being the sixth principle, the Christ self being the fifth principle, and these two comprise what we call the higher self. So the higher self is enabled both to go to God the Father, or whatever you want to call it, to the I Am Presence, and get the information of our divine plan and transfer it down to our conscious mind. But of course we have free will down here, and we can stop that process. But we can also speed it up. So we have control down here. As long as we're in the four lower bodies, the lower self has free will. Eventually, 
We'll finish up the work in the four lower bodies. We'll transmute everything through the, the fourth body or the etheric body, and we'll raise it up through the process of ascension into the causal body. And the four lower bodies will cease to exist. And we will become the spiritual triad. And that's what the ascended masters are. They're just the spiritual triad of a being. They're no longer the four lower bodies. The four lower bodies are the densest body, and the last one to manifest, the first one to go, is the physical body. Then the next most tenuous is the emotional body. This is uh, equated to the, the water element, and that's also the astral plane or the astral body. And then the next most, or least physical, shall I say, is the mental body, and it is equated with the air element. So the mental body, the emotional body, and the physical body dissipate between embodiments. And the memory of who we really are in the lower self is maintained in the fourth lower body, which is the etheric body, which is the fire element. So that fourth body, or the etheric body, will materialize the next body for us out of the seed atoms that comprised our last physical body. So the last thing to dissipate is the etheric body. And the etheric body will only dissipate when it's time for ascension. Okay? So that's the one concept. St. Germain went before the karmic board and he asked, we have to make a few changes. Humanity isn't getting where they need to go. And they said, well, what do you, what do you recommend? And he said, first of all, we have to tell them about their real self. Second of all, we have to tell them about the, the decrees. And third of all, we have, to, we have to talk about the violet flame. And then he also said, plus we need to shorten the days for the elect. And in that concept, he said, we need to cut back on the amount of karma required to make an ascension. See, in Jesus' time, in Kathumi's time even, you had to balance 100% of your karma in the physical plane before you could make an ascension. And this wasn't, it wasn't happening. A few a century, you know, a handful of people in a century could balance all of their karma and then make an ascension. So St. Germain uh, suggested that they go to 51%. Balancing 51% of your karma in the physical plane and then completing the rest of it after ascension Which of course makes it a whole lot easier because oh, I can see what I'm doing now It's like oh, I was seeing through a glass darkly. Somebody just cleaned my glasses. Now. I'm looking straight at it Well, that was the issue that Saint Germain brought to the karmic board at the time of Guy Ballard and the I Am teachings. And these were the major issues. That's why I say the I Am teaching is really a key teaching. Uh, Let's go back to the idea of decrees. What happens in every age, and I'm talking about an age of 2,000 years, we have a dispensation. So Jesus was the hierarch of the dispensation for Pisces. And that age pretty much ended when St. Germain became the hierarch for the Aquarian Age. This happened in 1954, officially. And that's the same time as, as Gautama ascended to the, the title or the office we call Lord of the World or Planetary Logos. And Sana Kumara was allowed to return to Venus. 